All right, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I'm always on the lookout for those details that will help your game. You know, we talk a lot about staying short to the ball, driving out through it. Today I want to discuss getting in and out of the cage with proper technique. And what this can do for your game is save you time, okay? And time is reps. You know, reps uh, create that muscle memory. So obviously we want to have good technique getting in and out of the cage. So this is from our hitting clinic today. I wanted you to watch the, this hitter exit and the next hitter enter the cage. In and out, guys. Come on. All right, so the second hitter obviously caught in the net. Uh, and how do we avoid that? Well, let's watch the, the first hitter exit the cage. And I wanted to kind of break down his technique for you uh, so you can duplicate it, work on it at home. Uh, let's first look at now his hand position on the bat. Now, we do promote hand over the knob. The reason for that is we don't want the knob getting stuck, you know, in the netting. But the thing that he does here is he uses his body as a shield between the bat and the net. If you'll notice here, you know, we've got his body here, the bat here, you know, netting's back here. Uh, no chance that that bat's going to come in contact with the net. Uh, the second great thing he does is he reaches down to the bottom of the net. And this does take some effort, and, and it might, you know, it's something you might have to work on, but he gets to the bottom of that net. You'll see a lot of hitters. They start here, here. You know, if you, if you start up the net, you're going to have trouble throwing it over your head. Okay, so let's watch. He grabs the bottom of the net. He's going to throw it over his head. Plenty of clearance there. Now, I will say, you know, we do want to see, see how he has this bend, this flex in his arm. You know, I'd rather see that arm straight. Okay, if you get it straight, you'll have more clearance over the helmet, um, especially if you have a helmet on. You know, a lot of hitters come in the cage without a helmet. You might get away with that flex, uh, but he's got the helmet on. But he does, he does get good clearance and drops the net. Um, you know, down to the ground right there. Great technique, something we all should strive for. Let's watch it one more time. You know, and some say this raise, you know, he grabs the bottom of the net, is almost like a kettlebell toss, a kettlebell throw, you know, just straight up and over your head. All right. Great technique right there. Now let's watch the, the next hitter, and, and immediately we see the swipe with the right hand. I mean, he's halfway up the net, doesn't have any force on it, just swiping at it. You know, it, Right there, I mean, his hand is just flying back, almost hits, you know, the, the kid standing back here. Uh, just, just not a good first attempt. After that, now we're going with the double hand, okay? The double hand raise is, is frowned upon in, in so many hitting, uh, hitting theories. If we look at it right here, we can't even see where his bat is. I mean, it's mixed up all in the net right there. Uh, just a tough position to get the net over your head from. So he's going to make an attempt right here. Again, starting at the middle of the net. Not much throw or force. It's just trouble right there. Now we've got the dreaded position of contact with the net. We've got the uh, knob of the bat making contact, at the middle of the bat making contact. Just chances of getting tangled up are are uh, very likely, very likely. So he's going to grab again. You know, at no time I want you to notice. At no time did he bend. You know, his back wasn't flat. Okay, he's standing straight up, uh, just grabbing at this middle of the net, and, and it's just trouble. It's trouble when you do that. So here we go. We're going to make another attempt at a throw. And now we're in the position with the bat inside the cage, and he is outside the cage. Just, just no way to, to make a good entrance there. All right, so he's going to make one last attempt now. I will give him credit for this, all right? This throw right here, although we started at the middle of the net, Watch how he gets the extension up to his tiptoes right here. He's going to grab, and he's going to get extension to his tiptoes. I mean, that's effort. That's effort right there. But if you'll notice, you know, if he, had, if he didn't start at the middle, he wouldn't need to get on the tiptoes if he started down here, okay? And that's what happens. We end up having to strain, almost jump, you know, but he does eventually get in. So, you know, I hope this video, you know, work on it at home. It's the bin. Uh, almost like a kettlebell toss over your uh, your helmet, you know, it'll save a lot of swings and uh, get you in the cage ready to go.